So in this video, we're going to look at a velocity time graph and answer a few questions on it. But before we do, let's see if we can figure out precisely what's happening to this particle. Can we describe its journey? So initially, it is traveling at 14 meters per second. And in the next three seconds, it decelerates to 8 meters per second. Then for the next six seconds, it maintains a constant speed at 8 meters per second, so it doesn't accelerate or decelerate. And then after the nine seconds, for the next three seconds, it decelerates down to 0 meters per second, so it comes to a stop. Then it starts to accelerate again, but in the negative direction. So it starts to accelerate backwards um, for the next three seconds up to four meters per second. So let's see if we can answer some of these questions. For the, so for the first one, we're looking at find the acceleration between t is zero and t is three. Okay, so for the first three seconds of motion, what is the acceleration? So it is the gradient of that line. Okay, so we've got the difference in the y coordinates. So 14 take away 8 is 6. So we'd have 6 over 3. So that would be 2 uh, meters per second per second. But because we're going downwards, we're looking at a negative acceleration. Okay, so it's minus 2 meters per second per second, uh, this deceleration. Then t is 3 to t is 9, well, the acceleration is 0, OK? Um, in that case, so 0 metres per second per second, OK? Because the speed isn't changing. Then between t is 9 and t is 12, so for this section here, uh, we are decelerating again. So we're going to have negative because we're going downwards. Uh, the difference in the y is 8 divided by difference in the x, which is 3. So minus 8 thirds meters per second per second. OK, so minus 2.6 or current. OK, so the total distance. Now, the total distance will be the total area uh, of these four sections. OK, so the first section we've got is this one. So this is a trapezium. So you could work this out either as a triangle plus a rectangle, or you can use the trapezium formula. So 1 half times h, the width of the strip, times by the uh, 14 plus 8, so the sum of the sides. OK, so 14 plus 8, and then times that by 3, and divide that by 2, gets us to 33 metres. Then for the rectangle that we've got here, we've got uh, 6 times 8, so that's 48 metres in there. Then we've got a triangle, so half base times height, so half times 3 times 8, so 12. And then finally we've got this little triangle down here, so we've got 1 half uh, times by the base, times by the height. So that gets us 6 metres. OK? So what's happening is that in the first three seconds, we travel 33 metres. OK? Then in the next six seconds, we travel 48 metres. Then in the next three seconds, we travel 12 metres. And then in the next three seconds, we go back 6 metres. OK? So the total distance is those four added together. So we have 33 plus 48 plus 12 plus 6, and that gets us 99 metres. The total displacement then, OK, is the 33 plus the 48 plus the 12, but then we want to take away the 6, because that brings us back closer to where we started. So we've got the 33 plus the 48 plus the 12 take the 6, which leaves us with 87 metres. Now, the average speed is the total distance divided by the total time. So 99 divided by 15. So 99 divided by 15 is 6.6 .6 metres per second. OK. So then the average velocity 
is the total displacement divided by total time. So we've got 87 divided by 15, and that gets us 5.8 metres per second. Okay, so that's how we can answer some questions about a velocity time graph.